Howdy 2D Freeze, it's Navinger, and today I am bringing you a different kind of video. Today I want to show you guys how I upload, make and upload videos to YouTube uh, when I capture my Xbox 360 gameplay. And so to start off, we are going to open up ITV, which you see right here. It's down on the toolbar as ITV. You pretty much just press that button, and that brings up the screen. Uh, press escape real quick. As you see, I am in the middle of a custom game on Black Ops. To record gameplay, you just hit this little record button down here, and it records for however long you want. Um, so yada yada yada, we're playing, and then once you're done recording, you just hit that button again, and it and it stops recording. And so the next thing you do is you open up this screen by pressing this button right here. Uh, as you can see, this is what I just recorded, seven seconds long. But earlier I made a little clip that we're gonna use this one, uh, live recording. So basically, what you want to do is you want to export it out of ITV. So you just come down here to export, and you name it whatever you want. So we're just gonna hit live record and then you would hit save. I have already exported it and so we're just gonna come down here and once you hit save it'll come and go to your desktop or wherever you want it to save. At this point you can close ITV uh, you're not going to be using that anymore. And then from here uh, you open up your iMovie as you see I have already done this. Uh, this is the clip that is in my desktop. To import into iMovie you just come down here to import movies. I like to create a new event and we're gonna it's called live record and you just come down here and click whichever one you want and then import like I said I've already done this so we're not gonna go through this again it doesn't take too long uh, but you know it's mostly whatever so anyway now that I've got my clip in here I wanna put the transitions in you come up and press this button um, for some of you it might look different it might look like this for some of you but I like to have it switched around like this um, but anyway you bring your transitions in I throw them in at the middle and end and anytime a clip changes to a different clip and so now you've got your video file and if you're gonna make a commentary you wanna record over it so I come down to audacity which is the program I use open up a new window make sure that uh, the settings are correct my input wants to be built-in input and then so it's a 12 second long clip once you make sure that you have your clip trimmed to exactly this uh, length you want you hit record in Audacity and it starts recording your voice. And so then once you're done, you hit stop, uh, come up here and go to export. And then you export as whatever you want. I like to keep all the titles the same, so we're going to go to live record. You can set it to wherever you want. Uh, I just have it to my desktop. And I believe you can have it go right into iTunes. Uh, but I just do not do that. Um, but anyway, I come down here and here is your live recording that you just exported out of Audacity. Double click on it and it'll start in iTunes and then you scroll down and here is the song that you just or the uh, recording that you just had and so what you're gonna do you're gonna open up iMovie again bring it back to the front uh, and here is your clip you bring in the audacity file into here quite simple and so here you go you've got your you've got your audio and you've got your video I like to reduce the game volume a lot because you do not want to hear this as much as you hear your voice. Um, and so we're, what we're going to do is we're going to reduce that just a little bit. And then I like to change the uh, reduce the background noise anywhere from 40 to 50% just to make it sound a little nicer. And then that's basically it. That's all you really have to do uh, as far as iMovie goes. And so now we are done with this. We're going to come up here and hit export. Export using QuickTime. Uh, I change it and keep the same name, but just put final after it so I know which one to upload. Move it to MPEG-4. Here are my, uh, my settings. H.264 video format, 13,200 KB per second, 1280 by, 7, 1280 by 720 preserve aspect ratio using letterbox, frame rate 30, keyframe every 24. I don't mess with the audio or streaming too much. If you want to upload to 1080p, you come down here and go to that, and you have to change your data rate. But I rarely do that because it takes so long. And so you make sure you're using the most recent settings and hit save and it starts exporting. Now depending on how long your, your file is or how many you know transitions you have or how much stuff you have in there is going to really depend uh, or is really going to dictate how long it takes to export. So it says it's going to take about a minute and so we will come back when this is done exporting. Alright guys and so now the video has been done recording you can minimize iMovie just for safekeeping I don't exit out of anything and so for whatever reason it messed up but anyway here is your recording 
uh, it put it to my desktop where I wanted it to. And so now I have this. I always go in and watch it just to make sure that it's up to par with how I like things. So I hit play. Uh, this is a 25 second long comment. Plays. The voice sounds ridiculous, but that's okay. Hopefully it doesn't sound too bad right now. So I go into Google Chrome. I always go into a new incognito window, which is a special thing you can do in Chrome. I've just heard that it uploads faster. Sign in. And I go to upload. Click on upload, and it brings up this screen. If I'm, I'm going to make this video private just because it's not a video anyone needs to see. Uh, and so you can keep it public unless it's scheduled if you're partnered. But I have it private. Hit the select files, and you can see this is the file that we made, and this is the file we want to upload. And so we do that. You can change the title, uh, change it to whatever you want. Uh, you can change this. I have these things preset, so if I'm ever going to change it, I just have to go in here and change it real quick. Add some tags. And then I have a custom thumbnail option because I'm a partner. Actually, I believe you can have that whenever now. Um, but anyway, so I just changed all this stuff. It's already monetized for me. And then once all this is changed and you like your title, you like your description, and you like your tags, you just hit Save Changes and it, your changes are being saved. Once that's done, and once it is done processing, it will be live. And that's basically all you have to do. As you can see, this video is not very long. It did not take long to upload and things like that. And so that'll be done processing here in a second. And then that's basically all you have to do. You have everything done, monetized, uploaded. And so it's done now. And so what you can do is you can come in here and you can go to the video manager. As you can see, I was watching some videos earlier. Uh, here are my videos, and you come in here, and here's the one we just uploaded. It's probably not in 720 yet, because it just uploaded. It takes a little bit for the quality to get up to par, but basically, this is all you really have to do. And that's how I upload videos, uh, and that's basically what I do to make the content that I do. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this different kind of video, this change of pace. Uh, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys later. Peace.